Hi guys, it's Mr. Tubba Gamer here with a bit of a different update. Um, I just want to say that there isn't going to be any gameplay of any kind in this video. This is just going to be me talking at you for a bit. So if you want, you can just tap out this video, open another browser window, whatever you want, in order to just make sure that you can hear the point across. After many many months of thought and after 80 months since my first let's play video came out um, I have made the decision to stop making let's play videos on my channel um, there are several reasons why I am deciding to stop making let's play videos um, if you have noticed the extremely inconsistent scheduling that I keep doing you might have noticed that I just don't seem to have time and the lack of time is a major, major play into why I don't want to do this anymore. Um, <laughs> when I started Let's Playing, I was 14 years old, I was nearing the end of 8th grade and I was simply put just a kid. I had all of the time in the world to make as many videos as possible and I really wanted to do that and I think for a while that approach definitely was good. Um, it was very fun at the time and I really liked it. I was really excited to start. I remember telling all my friends at school that I was starting to make Let's Play videos and they were really interested and excited for me to get started. And I have turned 21 years old in the beginning of December, and I do not have the same passion and excitement for Let's Playing at all anymore. <laughs> um, I just do not really have the time, and I don't really have the excitement. It's not very often I would start a Let's Play video and just say, Oh boy, I can't wait to record. Like, I just genuinely do not find this really that fun anymore. And if it's something that I don't really find fun, why keep doing it? Um, it's also because of the fact that, like I said, I don't have time. Making a Let's Play video in the recording alone typically can take 30 minutes to maybe even an hour if we're gonna edit stuff out. And that's a lot of time that I'm just spending on making a video. Um, my editing has always been very light. I don't do much with the edits, maybe crop out a bit here and there and cut out a piece of footage that's unnecessary towards the video or speed up another part. Whatever it may be, the editing is very scarce and I usually don't do it that much. But all in all, it can take it usually takes over one hour just to make a video that could be maybe 30 minutes of content or hell, even 20 minutes of content. And that's just too much of a time sink. I've just wrapped up my fifth semester of college. I know it's been an extremely hectic year with COVID and all that, but I can't really keep up with my schoolwork while being able to manage this this channel with Let's Playing and stuff. It's not something I can multitask. Um, it's just way too much for me and I need to just not do anymore. Um, I also, like I said, just don't really like it anymore um and i think pokemon leaf green was the final nail in the coffin because i started pokemon leaf green in the beginning of my senior year of high school in september 2017 and no it was not september it was october excuse me and it took me until september 2020 to finish recording and uploading all 42 episodes of it. It took almost three years to upload 42 videos from one game. That's an average of about 14 videos a year or maybe about 1.2 videos a month. Yeah, that that is not something I'm proud of and Honestly, I remember recording a bunch of the end videos just to say I don't want to continue worrying about this Let's Play. I want to record this as soon as possible. I want to finish this 
as soon as possible. And I think I finished it well. It was definitely not a great let's play and it does feel kind of like an anticlimactic let's play to go off on, but it's just not something I'm proud of. I don't like the let's play. It took too much time. My life changed in between when it started and when it ended. And <laughs> I just don't want to risk doing another let's play that can take a that a caliber of time. I don't like feeling like I have a half a time crunch on myself. And school's already hectic enough with that. And another reason why I'm not doing Let's Play anymore is that Let's Play, if you don't have an audience, just isn't fun at all. Because Let's Playing is not me playing, you know what I'm saying? It's Let's Playing. It's plural. It, you should feel like you're playing with somebody else. I'm just playing myself. Nobody watches. Maybe I'll get one or two comments here and there. And that's a very negative attitude, but the reality of the Let's Play industry just means it's extremely competitive. And if you make it into the Let's Play industry and go full time like what some people do now, you definitely have been doing it for a very long time and you have gotten extremely lucky to be able to make a living off your YouTube channel. And when you have a living off your YouTube channel and you love what you're doing, you've basically made your life a complete success. I never did YouTube for the money. I was a 14 year old who started making Let's Plays just because he wanted to do something cool. And while it was fun at the time, I eventually was like, no one's watching, no one's watching. Um, I made a huge deal about subscribers early on. Like if I lose a subscriber, I would basically go hysterical. At least I would go to myself hysterical, not like out loud where everyone can hear it. I was pretty mad because when no one watches your videos, your subscribers are really just a number. If people look at someone with 200 subscribers and compare it to someone who has 210 subscribers, but they both get the same number of viewers, you have one of two mindsets. Number one, the person with more subscribers looks more pathetic because they get no viewers with more subscribers, or they look better because they have more subscribers at all. I don't like having this worry about subscribers, and it's been a long time since I've worried about that, but I don't... If no one watches Let's Play videos, it's basically just me uh, talking out loud in front of my camera card, capture card, and my laptop. And I usually do play talk out loud when I play games by myself, so this isn't really anything new. But I always remember feeling embarrassed about the thought of people in my house being able to hear me speaking. And they don't know that I'd be recording a video, so they would just be like, Why are you talking out loud like that? And yeah, just uh, <laughs> not, my, not my cup of tea. And... Obviously, I can't make money off this because I don't have a fan base. I was really, really hoping at some point during my channel's lifespan to hit 1,000 subscribers, <laughs> but uh, that clearly isn't going to happen unless I go extremely hard on what I'm doing, and I clearly do not have the time, nor do I have the care to just go ham on this. I really can't afford to do this anymore. And yeah, that's basically it. I really hope this doesn't come as a major disappointment to you guys. Obviously, having done Let's Plays since first 40 months, essentially, I've been doing this for, let's see, I just turned 21. That's about a fifth of my entire life. And that's that's a very long time. And I some there were a couple points I was like, you know, why am I not making this announcement? Because sentimental value is there. I don't really care for this anymore. I pretty much lost all my passion for let's playing. What I'm missing is interaction. And when there's no interaction with people, it just feels like you're doing it for your own satisfaction. And if I was being satisfied with what I was making, I would keep going, but I'm not satisfied at all. It just feels like I'm talking to myself and 
wasting my time, and that's definitely not something that I want to keep dealing with. So, now that I've gotten that out of my chest, I'm sure you're wondering what's going to even happen to this channel at all, because if I'm not making Let's Playing, like my main content, what's going to happen? And here's some good news regarding that. This channel isn't going away. I'm not deleting it. I'm not deleting any of my old Let's Plays or anything like that. Um, this is probably going to be more of a Jack of All Trades, Master of None type of channel. Meaning I'm going to just be uploading a bunch of different things whenever I feel like it. But not exactly like, oh, this is what I'm doing now. Like, for example, I play the piano. I like uploading my piano covers. I really like having a place to store my songs that I'm playing and have people see it. But don't expect when I upload a piano cover to be like, oh, you're going to be making piano videos now. That's not what it is. This is, it's just an example. Um, another thing, if I really got inspired to make some sort of video, like, let's say for example, top 10 a Pokemon or something like that. Don't expect me to be a top 10 YouTuber. Um, if I got a super sh lucky string of the same kind of video all after another, then that's not what I'm going to be. Hell, I may go back and do a Let's Play at some point if I really felt inspired and really wanted to give a go at it. So, that, considering how long I've been taking off anyway, that kind of defeats the whole point of this video. But... I don't want to start a new Let's Play, and if I do, it'll probably be something that I really want to do. And another thing is I've been streaming on Twitch quite a bit lately, well as lately as much as I can be allowed to with my schedule. I will admit that I absolutely love streaming on Twitch, I feel like I found a new light in myself that I couldn't find of Let's Playing. And that's because Twitch streaming has live interaction, and that's what I love. I love being able to interact with people in the chat, whether it be my friends or just some people I don't know, because those are people, they're, you get to respond to them immediately, and it's just overall a much more laid back and chill experience. I have appeared on many of my friends' Twitch streams, and I have loved every second of it. I have... And I'm trying to get a thing where I can get them to appear on some of my streams and be some guests. You can't really do that with Let's Playing because you can have them on a guest, but they'd have to wait for you to upload it. And yeah, that's basically that. Um, I do plan to upload Twitch VODs to this channel. I don't know if I'm going to do all of what I do on Twitch or just some highlights that I think will be funny. And if I upload some sort of random video that's just stupid and funny and more personal, I could do that. But there really isn't going to be much structure to this channel going forward. So you can feel free to unsubscribe if you were here for my Let's Playing channel and all that. But if you weren't here for my Let's Playing channel and you were here for me, you can stay subscribed if you think I can just do something. If you like me for what I do. Feel free to just watch whatever content I make, and on Twitch, you can watch me there. I'm much laid back there. I love talking to you guys. Um, I if, if I were to upload full Twitch playthroughs to this YouTube channel, uh, number one, they will not be edited in any way. I will not cut anything out. I will not um, base. I would not like uh, edit audio. I will not do any of that stuff. It will be completely raw and it's going to contain everything that was in the stream. Um, I probably won't do that unless I find a way to get a chat, the Twitch chat on the screen so you can see what's going on as I'm describing it. But I'm not sure how to do that, so that may be a problem. And number two, it's not gonna be like an extremely formal explanation of here's how you do this. Um, if you ever have any questions about something I'm talking about, just let me know in the comments or ask me on Twitter. And I'll either answer you with what I know, and if I can't, I'll link you to a source that will explain it all for me. And that's basically it. I do apologize for the sudden negative... Well, not negative. <laughs> I, I think I've, I've done my time. I've had my fun. But I think I'm just ready to move on. 
from Let's Playing. It feels like a very, I did this as a kid and now I'm an adult and now I don't know what I want to do and this isn't one of what I want to do. And I just can't afford the time. I don't really find this fun anymore. And I have more fun on Twitch. And I like the interaction that Twitch provides. I don't care for YouTube's Let's Playing system as much as I used to as a kid. And I still watch a lot of Let's Plays. Like, I love watching Chaka Conroy, Nintendo Capri Sun, Slim Kirby. I still watch all those YouTubers I did as a kid. But in terms of actually doing them, I think that was just my kid hype talking that carried me to my young adulthood like I'm in now. And there's really no nothing else that I can say about why I was still doing it, aside from, you know, continue doing Pokemon Leaf Green, finish the game, make sure that you finish this Let's Play so you never have to go back on it ever again. And I also feel like if I start another Let's Play, it's going to be the same cycle, because once I start, I'm essentially committed to it. And I don't want to have to go through that again. So that's basically a summary of Let's Playing and how I feel about it. Um, I'm not really someone who can do much with it and I don't really care for it anymore. So that's kind of just the whole gist of why I'm deciding to stop Let's Playing mainly. But I will give another quick summary because this is going on a bit long. Um, Let's Playing is not something I'm going to be doing anymore unless I get extremely expired. Not expired, inspired, excuse me. Um, this is going to turn in from a Let's Playing channel mainly to a Jack of All Trades Master of None channel where basically anything I upload is whatever I just feel like throwing on there. And if you don't like what I'm throwing on there, good for you, I don't care. Back off. And you can watch me on my Twitch and follow me on Twitter. You can join my Discord server. I have, I'll put a link to all of those in the description. And I just also want to close out by saying, if you have watched my content for all these years, thank you so much for watching. It really, really means a lot. But I think my time is up. As soon as I was getting to the latter half of Pokemon Leaf Green, I've always been wondering that my days on YouTube are going to be numbered. I couldn't be doing this for the rest of my life. There was going to be a point where I had to stop. And I think this is that time. So I'm going to close this video out now. Thank you so much for watching. You will definitely see me again either here or on another social media platform. Hell, even maybe another stream or YouTube video. but. I think I'm just ready to move on and continue trying to succeed in my own personal way. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my content and I will see you guys somewhere else and take care, stay well. I really hope you have enjoyed what I've produced in my Let's Plays and I just want to say Keep being awesome people. Thank you so much for everything, and I'll see you again another time.